It freaking happened. What's up guys with some pretty amazing Street Fighter V news once again as a result of the PC version being data mined of the latest beta of the game. Now, we were talking about this in a couple of videos before how people had found some stuff. There was some pretty conclusive evidence that was leading towards things that we thought were going to be the six characters that they're talking about for future DLC plans of Street Fighter V. Well, guess freaking what? It was practically confirmed. Within the data of the game, not only were those small character names kind of discovered that people were assuming could be like Guile and Ibuki and Jury, etc, etc. Well, that doesn't really matter anymore because they got even further into the files and found actual wave audio files that are an announcer announcing several things throughout the entire game, including all 22 characters amongst the roster. Now, this is a huge leak, almost on the scale of something like Ultimate Marvel vs. Capcom 3's characters being kind of leaked the day after it was announced. This one's pretty big because we have kind of official confirmation there's a voice in the game saying the names of the characters. But let's go over the six characters and pretty much we have unofficial confirmation of who is going to be in Street Fighter V before the end of 2016. The first character is Alex. Now I do feel there was a little bit of trolling going on from Ono as far as Alex being in the background of the New York stage and it appears to be true because Alex absolutely is going to be a playable character in Street Fighter V. I really hope he doesn't take on the design that he had in the back of the stage. I really didn't like that one. I actually find his old design to be a lot better. If they did change it a little bit, I don't think that would be too bad, like I said in the past. That'd be cool if they put that aviator jacket on him, but either way, I'm just extremely happy that Alex is in the game. The next one, which is also makes a lot of sense because we were assuming this for a long time, the connection to the Illuminati, Urien is also another confirmed character in the game. The big question is, how naked is Urien going to be? The dude pretty much had a banana hammock in every single version of Street Fighter 3 that he was in, so I'm kind of curious what they're going to do. He starts off a lot of matches with, like, a business suit on. It'd be very cool if he, like, busted out the business suit and ripped it all off when he went into his V-Trigger. That'd be kind of awesome. I'd be totally down for that. I'm very happy that Alex and Urien made it to the roster, so we do have a little bit of, like, those Third Strike characters that we didn't get to see in previous games. Capcom was definitely listening. We almost thought that they weren't listening at all, but it's a really good thing and it makes me really happy with those two characters and even though Capcom and Ono's troll of Alex and the Third Strike characters maybe not making it is kind of gone now, we're at least getting them and that makes me really happy. The next one is a huge fan favorite and I'm shocked wasn't in the game at all from the start and it's Guile. Guile was going to be the supposed Dudley or Guile character that we were looking at from the uh, silhouettes. Guile is confirmed to be in the game as a DLC character and he's one of those that I feel that you can change his design. Guile's been radically similar throughout almost every single game he's been in in terms of his design and I do think it would be very cool if they did something like they did to Dalsum. Change a little bit about him but don't change too much because uh, man Guile's a classic. You can't do too much to him. The next one is kind of a shock, and uh, even though it was being rumored from the previous character data, it's Ibuki. So Ibuki is that one that we saw had the kunais and like the spikes around a dress or some kind within the silhouette. That is pretty much going to be Ibuki. And uh, I'm very curious how this character is going to fare within this game, especially for how vortexy she is in Street Fighter 4. That's probably going to go away. And I assume she's going to be much more similar to her Third Strike version, which gets away with a lot of pokes and stuff like that, which is already very prominent in Street Fighter 5. So Ibuki's in the game. I'm not tremendously excited about that one, but... If she does get a redesign, I might have a little bit of interest in playing her. We'll find out. I like ninjas, but I never really liked Ibuki. Balrog, on the other hand, was another confirmed character, and uh, the boxer is back. This is the traditional Balrog we all know, and this is a character that I almost can guarantee you is going to go through an overhaul. He's been very similar in every single game he's been in before, and we can probably assume his character appearance is going to take a pretty heavy redesign, while you probably can play like a classic costume where you see the classic Balrog. I'd assume that that would probably make sense. And the last one is a huge fan favorite, albeit not a character that I'm completely in love with or really liked that much from the start, but is a huge, huge, huge fan favorite, and it's Jury. Jury is confirmed to be in Street Fighter V. I saved the best for last for you guys. And I I feel that Jury is another character that's going to get a small redesign. She's going to have her classic costume as well. And I do hope that some characters retain like a lot of what they originally looked like because even though I'm not a big fan of Jury or her like personality and play style, she did have a design where it was like, man, that character that character looks evil and she fits. She actually feels like she fits amongst the roster, which is a good thing. And I actually hope that she doesn't look dramatically different. She should keep 
keep the black and the uh, purple motif that she had from the previous game. And what makes me most happy about Jury is that I know a lot of people are going to be super happy that that character is in the game, which is good. I want people to be happy about playing fighting games and give them more reasons to play them. I think that's absolutely awesome. So there you have it, guys. We have Balrog, we have Alex, we have Guile, Ibuki, Jury, and Yurian coming as the six DLC characters to Street Fighter V before the end of 2016. Like I said, I didn't want to actually show you guys or let you listen to the audio files just for the sake of kind of protecting the video. There's a good chance that the video could be taken down or most of the videos could get taken down in the future if Capcom finds out about this stuff. So with that in mind, the news and information is everywhere. I just kind of wanted to give you my two cents. And there's one more character, which we also got confirmation of, that we also were kind of predicting from the previous videos. The boss character, which is Fun or Fun. It's one of the two names and it kind of translates to like all-knowing or like, you know, omnipotent in some way from what I understand, which sounds exactly like it's going to be a, uh, a boss character of some kind. And this boss character from what people dug up before had a lot of polygons and a lot of interesting uh, assets to it, which makes you think it's going to have like a ton of arms or a lot more motion than most characters have in Street Fighter V. But will this character be playable? We do not know yet, but it is amongst the roster right now, so you could assume like most Street Fighter boss characters, if it's not playable at the start, it's going to be playable eventually. So there you have it, guys. What do you feel about the Street Fighter roster at the end of this? I was pretty lukewarm as far as the initial roster of Street Fighter V, like the launch roster. I'd give it about a 6 out of 10, but considering these characters and kind of how it's going, I feel that this roster is pretty good. I'd probably give it a 7 or 8, personally, out of 10 because uh, they have characters that throw back to characters we didn't see in Street Fighter V, and they have a lot of returning characters that are huge fan favorites, which is a really good call. I think this DLC is going to be a very good thing for SF5, so we'll see how the game shapes up when it shows up in February of next year. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching, and I'm going to be back with a video that's going to be talking about the characters that should be appearing in SF5 now that we have all of these available here. And interestingly enough, we made a top five characters that I wanted in Street Fighter V, back in like June of this year and two of the five characters amongst that list did make it which were Ken as well as Alex but of course Dudley, Sean, and Q are nowhere to be found right now and amongst those I feel that Sean has the best chance as far as making it into the second pack of DLC but like I said I want to make a video talking about like the next five characters or the next six characters that really need to be in Street Fighter V you would definitely assume that Akuma, Sagat, and Sakura would be amongst that roster. As always, guys, thank you very much for watching. Stay tuned. We'll be back with that top six characters that should be in DLC Pack 2 for Street Fighter V. Thank you a ton for watching. My name is Max, and I'll see you next time.